Yes, now we are coming on third example. It says if A is a subset of B, B is a subset element of C, then A is an element of C. Again, we should check whether it is true or not. Let the set A is having element 1, 2. Then what should be the B? We should have this set itself must be present here because A is a subset of B means we should contain this set itself or we should say these elements are compulsorily there. 1, 2, 3. I've taken one extra element. Now I say B is an element of C. So when I write C, what change will be here? It is 1, 2, 3 must be an element here. B must be present here. Then it can be 4, can be 5, so on. Then what I should say? A is an element of C? No. So I should say A is not an element of C. But in first few cases, it can be possible. How it is? If I just change this part and I write here, it is having 1, 2 also and then 5 also. Then what you will say? Yes, A is a member of C also. So we should say again, this is not a compulsion. In general, this statement is not true. Then we come on fourth. Fourth example say A is a subset of B, B is a subset of C, this implies C is a subset of A. A is a subset of B, B is a subset of C, then A is a subset of C. We have to prove. A is a subset of B given in the question, B is a subset of C given in the question, then A is a subset of C. A or whatever element in A are in B, first condition, whatever element of B they are in C, that means A will be having all the elements in C that you can do directly. This is a true case. A, if I take let it be 1, 2, then B will be having 1, 2, 3. A is a subset of B. B is a subset of C means 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. A completely in B. B completely in C. So automatically these two elements will be here. Then definitely what I should say, I got A is a subset of B. B is a subset of C implies A is a subset of C. Yes, it is true in every case. So that means this is the statement which will be true, we should. Now another example we have, x is given 8 power n minus 7 n minus 1, where n belongs to natural number, y is having 49 into n minus 1, where n belongs to natural number. My question is, prove that x is a subset of y, means all the elements of this are here. So whenever you want to do this question, first we should know what is x here. Now, x if you want, n is a natural number, means here I will be putting n as 1. So, when you put n as 1, what the number comes? 8 power 1 minus 7 minus 1. Is it coming 0? Yes, first element is 0. When you go for n2, n2 when I say 8 is square minus, it will be 14 minus 1. So, how much it comes? 64, 64 minus 15. So just do it, how much it comes? 64 minus 15, so it will be 9 and then 49. So it will come out to be 49. Then comes third, when you have n is 3. So when you and take n is 3, so 8 cube minus 7 3 is at 21 minus 1. Then uh, 8 cube. 8, 8, 64, 64 into 8, is it 1, 0, 2, 4? No, uh, 520, 8, 4, 36, sorry, 32, 3, 8, 6, 24, 24 plus 3, 252. So what it will come? 252 minus 22. 
how much it comes to 30. Is it okay or no? Just check here 64 Sorry, 48, 48 and 3, 51, 512, sir. So it will come out to be 512 minus 22. So it will come 490. So this number is 490. This way this uh, series continues. Now I'll take here Y. When you put N as 1, so is it 0? Yes. Second time when n you take as one uh, two two minus one it's forty nine. Then when you take n as three so forty nine into two so two into forty nine. How much it comes two into forty nine? Uh, multiple of two forty nine then it will come three into forty nine so on it goes. So when you take here. It will be 0 after that 49, then 2 into 49, 3 into 49, 4 into 49, 5 into 49, 6 into 49. Here what you have? 0 is present here. Yes, 49 is present here. Then this is 10 into 49. 10 into 49 will also come here because 3 into 49, then 4 into 49, 5 into 49, 10 into 49. So yes, all these elements are present here. So that means we will say yes, x is a subset of so only the thing in this question is you should find out what uh, the elements are there and according to that you can decide uh, is it a subset of it. Now coming on next question. Yes, this is next question we have. This is question number 6 I think. Let me check the number what it is. This is one set given A having element 1, 2. This is another element 3, 3 and 4 in brackets. So this will be single element now then this is 5. My question is, these are the statements I have written. You should tell which is true and which is false. That will clear your basics. 3, 4 is a subset of A. Is it right or no? 3, 4 in this case with a bracket is an element of this set, not the subset. Because it is not given that simply 3 and 4 are here. No. This is given in a bracket, so this will be taken as a single element. So element of A it is, so this is not possible. Then I am saying 3, 4 is an element of A. Now you say, yes, it is correct. So it is correct. Now if I say you 3, 4 in one bracket, that means this element and then one set we made. Is it a subset of A? Yes, because when I say subset of it, what it will be? First will be 1, then it will be 2, then it will be 3, 4, then it will be coming 5, then you will take 2, 2 elements. So will it be a subset? Yes, it will be a subset of A. 1 is an element of A? Yes, it will be there because 1 is a member of this set. Is 1 subset of A? No. If I say it is this way, then it is correct. But this way it is wrong. If it is 1, then you should write 1 is an element of A, which is already there. 1 is not a subset of A. If you write 1 in bracket, then it will be a subset of A. 1, 2, 5 is a subset of A. Yes, 3 elements you have taken and you have made a subset of A. Yes, it is true. Is it an element? No, this is not present here in a bracket here. So we will say it is again not present. 1, 2, 3. Will be a subset of A. No. 1 is element of this. 2 is element of this. But 3 is not the element here. 3 is coming with 4. This total will be an element. So if you take 1, 2, 3. Then it will be a subset. But it cannot be taken 3 separately here. So we can't say this. Then comes phi is an element of A. Phi is an element of A. Is phi somewhere visible to you? No, we will say it is not visible, so we will say it is again wrong. Phi is a subset of A. Yes, whenever I write the subset, two subsets are always there. One is the set itself, one is the empty set. Yes, phi is a subset of A. Yes, it is also correct. Then, this phi is a subset of A. No, phi is not a member here. So, we will say if you put a bracket, it will not be giving a subset to you. No, it is not correct. 
because in this case it will be having phi as an element. Here phi is an empty set. Empty set is a subset of it. But phi with an element should not be a subset of it. So that you should keep in mind. So certain examples I have taken. Next time we will be starting with the properties of subset uh, set theory. So that will be the next topic we will be starting. Uh, one more uh, small question I'll take here. That also you should know. Uh, if uh, question is prove that A is a subset of phi implies A is equal to phi. Question says A, which is you have taken, is a subset of phi. Means it is also a Phi. So A is a subset of phi, then A is equal to phi you have to prove. Now one more thing you should keep in mind here before doing this question. If I say A is some uh, set and B is another set. If I say A is a subset of B. And at the same time I say B is a subset of A. A is a subset of B at the same time B is a subset of A. Means all the element of A are in B and all the element of B are in A. That is only possible when you have A is equal to B. This is an important result. If A, you have to show two matrices same, or sorry, two sets same, A and B are same, then A is a subset of B, B is a subset of A. If you prove, uh, if you, you prove these two conditions, automatically A is equal to B. In this question, we have A is a subset of phi. Which is given in the question. And this I know. Phi is a subset of each set. Empty set is always a subset of each set. So I prove this as well as this. And if both the condition A is a subset of B. B is a subset of A. That means A is coming equal to phi. Hence proof. So this is another example we have taken. So next time we will continue.